Did you know that between 2010 and 2024, the global population increased by 15.17%, going from just under 7 billion people to over 8 billion, with an average growth rate of 1.04%? However, despite this increase, not every country is gaining population. In fact, some are experiencing the complete opposite, declines in their population. But why is this? Well, Today, on Globe Discoverer, we're going to look at the world's fastest dying countries and the reasons for their declining populations. Number 12. St. Vincent and the Grenadines St. Vincent and the Grenadines is an island in the Caribbean. It's known as a great spot to visit, with U.S. News and World Report even naming it the third best travel destination for honeymooners in the Caribbean. With its white sandy beaches, clear blue waters, and coral reefs, it's not hard to see why. However, while there may be plenty of people visiting St. Vincent and the Grenadines, there are not as many people who actually live there. In fact, the population of this island is only about 104,000, and the number of inhabitants is declining. Between 2010 and 2020, for instance, St. Vincent and the Grenadines saw an average population change of negative 0.44%, equating to a net loss of over 4,000 people. That decline has continued today, with a negative 0.37% and negative 0.24% population change in 2022 and 2024, respectively. The reason for this is primarily because of negative net migration, with more people leaving the country than moving to it. When you dig a little deeper into the state of the economy, it's pretty clear why people are leaving. In fact, St. Vincent and the Grenadines is one of the poorest countries in the Eastern Caribbean, with high unemployment rates being a fixture in its economy in recent years. In 2021, for instance, the unemployment rate was a whopping 21.6%. Number 11, Armenia. Between 2010 and 2020, Armenia saw an average population change of negative 0.41%. In recent years, the population has continued to decline, with a population decline of negative 0.38% in 2022 and negative 0.09% in 2024. A low birth-to-death ratio and lots of people leaving the country are the primary reasons for this decline. In terms of low birth rates, in the first quarter of 2022, the number of deaths was higher than the number of births for the first time since 1998. When we look at high emigration, in 2021, 73,000 more people with Armenian passports left the country than came into it. The reasons for people leaving Armenia have varied, but are primarily due to ongoing conflict in the region and a lack of economic opportunities. The government is trying to stop its population loss by offering financial incentives to those who are having kids and making efforts to quell political and social tensions, but it doesn't seem to be effective so far. Number 10. Greece Greece has struggled with a declining population. Because of this, some areas have even offered financial incentives to try and get people, and families in particular, to stay. But that hasn't been enough to fight off population loss. In fact, Greece's population decreased from a little over 11 million people in 2010 to 10.3 million people today, a loss of almost 700,000 people. Between 2010 and 2020, Greece had an average of negative 0.46% change in its population, which has unfortunately continued with negative 0.58% in 2022 and negative 0.42% in 2024. There are a few main factors contributing to this. The first is a low birth rate, with only 1.3 births per woman on average. Greece also has an aging population, and when death rates exceed birth rates, we all know what happens. Finally, many people are leaving the country, driven largely by financial issues. This is particularly the case in rural parts of Greece, where people tend to leave in greater numbers. Number 9. Serbia Located in the Balkans, Serbia is filled with tons of history and natural beauty. However, despite this, it is still unfortunately losing population, with a negative 0.4% average population change between 2010 and 2020. But it's not just in the past 10 years or so that this has happened. Serbia has seen a declining population for several decades at this point, 
and the country's population has continued to decline in recent years. Seeing a negative 1.03% population change in 2022 and a negative 1% population change in 2024. The biggest causes of the decline are, first, more people are moving out of Serbia than moving to it, and second, the country has been seeing low birth rates. The reasons for people leaving the country are varied, but include unhappiness with the economy and dissatisfaction with education opportunities. For instance, young educated people have consistently had difficulties finding jobs. For every 100 students who enroll in higher education, only 13 will graduate and find a job in their industry. The country has proposed changes to education, employment, and health care to try to stave off this decline, but it's not clear if that will be enough. Number 8. Bulgaria Bulgaria may have joined the European Union in 2007, but it has struggled to keep pace with the rest of Europe economically. In fact, it's known as the poorest country in the EU, and that may be driving a decline in its population. The country saw a negative 0.81% average population change between 2010 and 2020. That trend has continued with a negative 1.51% and negative 1.39% population decline in 2022 and 2024, respectively. In fact, Bulgaria's economy has consistently struggled leading people to seek work opportunities abroad. Most of these people have university degrees and are working professionals, leading to lots of brain drain, or in other words, the emigration of highly trained or intelligent people from a particular country. It is worth noting that Bulgaria's population increased slightly when Bulgarians came back to the country during the pandemic. However, it seems that was an outlier. Number 7. Italy Italy may be one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world, but despite this, locals don't seem to want to stick around. In fact, Italy's population decreased from about 59.8 million in 2010 to approximately 59.5 million people in 2020, with a negative 0.1% average population change during this period. However, this population decline has sped up in recent years, with Italy seeing a negative 0.34% population decline in 2022 and 0.28% in 2024. Most of those leaving are young people who are pursuing a better quality of life abroad and who are trying to flee the high cost of living and lack of affordable housing in Italy. Additionally, Italy has suffered from a high unemployment rate amongst young people in recent years, and the fact that things still aren't improving has caused many young Italians to simply get fed up and leave. Number 6. Croatia Croatia is a popular travel destination in Europe, with numerous people visiting places like Dubrovnik and Zagreb each year. The country is filled with so much history, scenic beauty, and interesting architecture that Game of Thrones was even filmed in Dubrovnik. But while it might see its fair share of tourists and films, Croatia's own residents are struggling more than most people are probably aware. For instance, Croatia saw a negative 0.61% average change in its population between 2010 and 2020. To put things further into perspective, the population has seen a negative 0.73% change in 2022 and negative 0.54 in 2024. Most of the reason for this is that the country's economy has struggled in recent years leading many people to leave the country and find work elsewhere. One recent survey even found that one out of every 32 young people in Croatia have thought about moving out of the country. An additional factor is the fact that death rates are outpacing birth rates, contributing to the decline in population. Number 5. Lithuania Located in northeastern Europe, Lithuania is the largest country of all of the Baltic states. After being occupied by one country in the late 1700s by Germany during World War II and becoming a part of the USSR in the mid-40s, Lithuania finally achieved independence in 1990. Shortly thereafter, it joined the EU, but although it has found success in its independence, it has not found success in retaining its population. Between 2010 and 2020, Lithuania saw a negative 1.1% average population change. In 2022, that number was negative 
and in 2024, negative 1.15%. Most of this is due to death rates outpacing birth rates and people leaving to find work opportunities elsewhere, as seems to be a common theme on this list. In fact, people are leaving Lithuania because wages and the standard of living here are way behind what is typical in Western Europe. That said, this country might be one of the few that has positive things in its future, as the country's net migration was positive in 2021 for the first time in the past 30-some years. Additionally, Lithuania's wages are slowly increasing to be closer to those of the rest of Europe, so it's possible that Lithuania's population decline may at some point reverse. Number 4. Latvia Latvia saw a negative 1.03% average change in its population between 2010 and 2020. Furthermore, the population change in 2022 was negative 1.24, and in 2024, negative 1.1%. Like we've seen with so many other countries on this list, one of the main reasons for Latvia's negative population change is the fact that the country has been seeing more deaths than births. Additionally, People in Latvia are moving to other countries in Europe with better opportunities. Specifically, like Lithuania, the income in Latvia is much less than that of many other European countries, so people are frequently leaving in search of better wages. Number 3. Puerto Rico As you probably are aware, Puerto Rico is a U.S. territory. This means that the locals are American citizens, and U.S. citizens can travel to and from the island without a passport. But even though Puerto Rico has beautiful beaches and lots of natural beauty, it saw an average population change of negative 1.17% from 2010 to 2020. And in 2022, it saw a negative 0.11% population change. However, Puerto Rico may be turning things around as it has had a 0.24% population increase in 2024 thus far. Some of these other countries should take notes. There are a couple of reasons for Puerto Rico's notable decline. For starters, there are better economic opportunities and higher-paying jobs outside of the country, and because residents can live and work in the mainland U.S., many of them do just that. In fact, today more Puerto Ricans live in the U.S. than in Puerto Rico itself. Another reason people have been leaving is to flee natural disasters like the all-too-frequent hurricanes that hit here. With this loss in population, though, Puerto Rico's education system, in particular, has taken a hit. For instance, the University of Puerto Rico has lost a significant amount of funding, and the number of public schools in Puerto Rico has decreased. Number 2. Bosnia and Herzegovina Most people know this country just as Bosnia, but its official name is actually Bosnia and Herzegovina. The country is located in southeastern Europe along the scenic Adriatic Sea. Between 2010 and 2020, this country saw a negative 1.4% average change in its population. In 2022, the population saw a negative 1.14 change, and in 2024, a negative 0.7% change. As we've seen so much already, that's because the country's natural growth rate is declining and people are simply choosing to move elsewhere. In fact, like Croatia, nearly one out of every two or 47% of those ages 18 to 29, have thought about moving abroad for work opportunities. That's equal to about 269,000 people. An additional reason young people in particular want to move is because of dissatisfaction with public services and corruption in the country. Number 1. Marshall Islands Top on our list is the Marshall Islands, located in the Central Pacific. The Marshall Islands is made up of five islands and 29 atolls, or island chains, all totaling about 1,225 islands. But although there may be a lot of islands, there aren't a lot of people. The population is small to begin with, with only about 42,000 people as of 2024. But this number has decreased significantly in recent years, seeing a negative 1.9% average population change between 2010 and 2020. In 2022, that number was negative 1.14. To put the notable population decline into perspective, a third of the entire nation left for the U.S. in 2018. Massive amounts of unemployment were a major driver, along with poor public schools, poor quality health care, 
and increasing threats from climate change. In terms of climate change, people are leaving because of increased flooding, which has the potential to become pretty bad in the coming years. This will seriously affect the quality of life there, with one report saying that climate change may lead to polluted drinking water because the area's aquifers will be flooded with salt water. If you enjoy this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Globe Discoverer. Thanks for watching.